Exactly. I think uh, the big difference between uh, the RFP and, and just a traditional sale um, is when you do the RFP, you have to put together a proposal. You can't just walk in and purchase and acquire the land and, and do whatever you can get approved. Okay. Um, so we have to sit down with the team, with consultants, the biggest of which, or the most expensive of, of which is probably the architect. Uh, and on this project, we spent in the ballpark of $100,000 oh, just, whoa, just whoa. for the proposal. 100000 Okay, that's way down here. But we haven't even, like, you're, had you bought the land? No, this was just to submit an RFP. This, okay. this, this, this is Breaks on, breaks on. You're saying $100,000 was spent before we even bought the land? Years before. Holy moly. Okay, keep going. I, I, that's a lot to me. That's a lot of money. I'm sure for you, that's a lot of money. Sure, absolutely. And like I said, a, a big part of that cost is is the architect. Okay. Um, but I mean, you, it's one of these things where if, if it's a project you want to do, you need to put your best foot forward. So you have to hire the best architect. And that's true. I mean, I think it was money well spent. When you look at the design we came up with, it was obviously the best of what was submitted. So. Uh, it, it's money well spent if it's a project you want to do, but there's a long, a long, it's a so, long lead time. So, so in here we have analysis. And we're, 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 we're technically we're not even in the planning stage. Like, like when you submit the the drawings, is that already what we call a full site plan, or is it just a, a design? A no, design? those those will be preliminary drawings. Um, it's wow. it's not at a, a detailed stage yet. So we would spend the money on the RFP. Years later, we close on the land, like we, like I mentioned, uh, in August, we close on the land. So you guys, you guys started working on this two years ago, going through designs. Yeah. I guess submitting them, and then they would comment back. And absolutely, and yeah. So, there and was so, so other developers are, are doing this as well. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. All right. And um, is it that he who spends the most money wins, or how, do, how, no, how does it? How does that work? I don't think so. I, I, I think, I mean, it, it definitely helps to have a great architect, someone who specializes in this type of design. Okay. Um, but it's really about meeting the requirements and... And, and, and I, we can safely call this a multi-use facility? Absolutely. Okay. So multi-use. And ha, ha, did you have a chance to see the other designs or were they all multi-use? No. Yeah, that we're not privy to that information. Whatever okay. we do not know how many other people submitted or what their designs were like. We're not so unlike not unlike I guess like like I mentioned before, of, you know the city of Barrie owned the land. They they put it they basically put it for sale, but it's it's a very unique kind of sale. Absolutely. And imagine I guess if a guy wanted to buy a house and someone puts a process where he's got to spend a hundred thousand dollars even before he buys the place. Right. Okay. So I, I'm just trying to get get these numbers straightened out. So now, so we've uh, we've spent a hundred thousand uh, dollars getting to this point. Okay. And we're now at the point where we want to get ready to launch the project. Okay. So in terms of so we've done our we've done somewhat of a, of an analysis. Yep. We've done our we've 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 bought the land, uh, two years of which have we have we submitted? Have we are we in the planning phase? Are we? You mentioned we're getting a sales office set up. So we've yeah. obviously arranged the financing. We've always got all these things in place, but has, has site drawings been submitted already? Yeah, so the, the planning stage is, is now underway. We have some land use adjustments that our planning department is working on. Okay. And simultaneously, we're working on preparing to launch the sales component for the uh, residential and the office. So okay. to do that, we have to finish at the sales office that I mentioned. We have and I'm guessing money's being spent. Yeah, so between the sales office and taking our drawings to the next level as far as detail, I now need to have detailed unit drawings for the residential. Right. I bring on a marketing. Construction drawings, I guess we call them? Uh, yeah, they would be issued for permit. We call them drawings. Permit, okay. Um, so we are, we are in, in, in this stage, which is the planning, where you're submitting all the drawings, you're, you're getting all the designs. The city of Barrie is basically considering this a regular a, a, a construction project now the RFP process there that's completed you sure. bought the land you own the land you now have to fulfill I guess the requirements from from the design and um, we're gonna you know what we're gonna do we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna get into the further numbers now obviously we can't uh, find out where where the final numbers are but we can certainly see that a lot of money is being spent and we'll be right back on developing for dollars